So if you knew this chart pattern strategy, you would likely already be profitable, right? So what is this secret weapon chart pattern uh, that I kind of like, you know, seek to find a chart or, you know, find stocks with showing or exhibiting this pattern that can greatly in increase your chance of winning in the stock market. Hey guys, Joby here, Top 10 Rise Trader in Philip Securities. And in this video, we're talking about this pattern that I really like, all right? In fact, I think this is one of the best patterns. There are many kinds of chart patterns when you're looking at stocks, in terms of the charts and all that. We have head and shoulder, inverse head and shoulder, double top, double bottom, and all kinds of other patterns, right? Consolidation patterns. But this pattern that I want to talk about today would be what we call an ascending triangle pattern. So let me just go ahead to um, write the name out, ascending triangle pattern. Pattern. So this ascending triangle pattern would kind of like you know form somewhere in an uptrend, or there are some kinds of uh, you know signals of it reversing back up, or the uptrend could be just slightly taking shape, or it could already be in what we call a firm uptrend that has been happening over the past few months, right? And we might see patterns like this. So let me just go ahead to draw the diagram before I explain to you what is this extending triangle pattern and what does it really mean behind the pattern. So this is what an ascending triangle pattern looks like. So you can see there's this red line right here. It's a horizontal red line. This is what we call a resistance level. So resistance is a price level whereby you know, many times it hits to that price level and sellers come back and it starts to push prices back down. Look at this right here. It goes down, it goes down and prices just goes down as it approach that key resistance level. So in an ascending triangle pattern, we will have this you know, very firm resistance whereby it takes a couple of weeks or like one or two or three months or maybe a year to break this key resistance level, right? But one thing you want to take note of is that how this pattern is different from other you know, patterns whereby there is also resistance level is such that as prices were to push down or as it pushes lower, you can see that as it pushes lower, buyers comes back, right? So buyers come back, okay, so this was kind of like the low initially right over here, all right? And this was the low and it rebounds back up here. It hits the resistance level somewhere here again and sellers came back and push it back down. So as it hits down again, all right, you can see that this low, right? This low, it's higher than the previous low. Does it make sense, right? So this low is higher than previous low. That means buyers are prepared to come out and buy at higher prices, right? So buyers kind of came back up, you know, you don't really go back down to the same low, but it just went down a little bit and buyers came back and pushed prices back up. And started to rebound again and went up to that same resistance level, here yeah, the same resistance, and it starts to sell down again. So that's the same resistance each time it hits there, sellers comes and push it back down. And same thing as it hits down, we are met with some bargain hunting and buyers comes back and push it back up. It goes back up to the same resistance, comes back down and we saw bargain hunting. So each time it pushes forward, you can see that you know buyers are coming out to buy at higher prices. And this is what we call higher low. So this is the low, this is the low, this is the low, this is the low. And you can see that it gets higher, right? It gets higher. So this is like what we call higher low. So as we get higher lows, even though we are, you know, cap or, you know, restricted below a certain price level, that resistance level, that is still fine. It just shows that it's a bit of an uptrend, all right? We are facing some obstacles at this price level, but at the same time, buyers are still prepared to buy at higher prices and, you know, still pushing prices back up towards that key resistance level. So when could a potential trade opportunity be when you spot patterns like this? Well, very simple, right? Before I talk about it, we can also, you know, based on these higher lows, draw what we call an upward sloping channel support line. So we can actually draw this line right here. So we can go ahead to draw something like this that connects uh, all the lows, right? connecting all the lows, forming what we call a higher upward sloping channel support line. So that is a channel support line connecting the low. So sometimes you don't even need to draw this line. You can see that it's a higher low, but you can draw this very simple line called the channel support, right? Channel support line. So as long as 
you know, prices will you stay above this upward sloping channel support line? It is still fine. The uptrend still looks quite intact. Of course, we can look at you know in terms of trend, we can look at moving averages and some other indicators, but we're not talking about that, right? Today we just look at this pattern called the ascending triangle pattern just by looking at prices by itself without a single indicator, just by looking at prices and your spot patterns like this, you know, higher lows, a very firm resistance level, it touched many times, it comes back down. What do you want to do? Well, we can prepare to write the breakout. So what is a breakout? So right over here, you can see that when it happened, right, this is what we call uh, a breakout. That means, right, many times that it forms higher lows, we, we sold off and went back down, right? But finally, right, after a few months, a few weeks, prices managed to break right here, managed to break above this very key resistance level. But it touched like three or four or five times and it came back down finally, we managed to break that level and stay above it. So that is a, what we call an ascending triangle breakout. And that is where the uptrend, all right, or this breakout or this you know, completion of this pattern has formed. And there could potentially be more upside for this pattern to play out. And you know, that's where you can see the stock really push up quite fast. So this is what we call an ascending triangle pattern. So when we see right over here, you know, we see a breakout, we see an ascending triangle pattern forming before that, that's where we can start to position ourselves to really ride the upside momentum. Does it make sense, right? So this is what we call an ascending triangle pattern. So let's take a look at some case studies very quickly, some charts, some case studies to see whether it can be spot patterns like this and how it has played out so far, or maybe you know, it might be playing out soon in terms of the breakout. We'll see how it goes. All right, so let's take a look at this stock right here that seems to show what we call an ascending triangle pattern information so it has not really broke out yet we have not seen the completion of the pattern or it pushing to a new higher phase but there are some sort of uh, resemblance in terms of the ascending triangle pattern so let's just go to draw what we call that key resistance level so as i mentioned for an ascending triangle pattern we want to have this very key or firm price level whereby many times it hits or it approaches the level and then sellers came back and it pushes prices back down. So that's what we call a very firm resistance level, which I think we can draw it right over here at this price point. So this would be a red line because it's what we call a resistance level. As you can see many times, let me just go to draw it for you. You can see many times we, we touch it, look at this, we neared it, we came down, we neared it, came down, came down, came down, and we neared it, it came down, we touch it, came down, and look at this, we came down again. So that is a firm resistance level, somewhere around that 185 to 190, I mean, based on this stock, that is a very firm resistance whereby, you know, sellers are just out to push prices back down. But what happens as it comes down? You know, did we actually go back down to the previous low or did we even hit lower? What actually happened? Well, you can see that over the past uh, one year, one year plus, right, we can see that it has been forming what we call higher low. So this was kind of like the low, you know, the low, the low, all right, the low. And, and as it progresses forward, the low gets higher until only recently, right? So somewhere it came back down around the same level. But essentially, over the past like one year, we have been forming what we call higher low. So we can, based on this low, okay, so let me just remove the low and we can draw as I mentioned, the upward sloping channel support line connecting the lows. Let me just go to try to draw this upward sloping channel support. This is what we call a trend line as well, right over here. Yeah, so we can try to get the best fit line right over here. Can you see, guys? All right, so this is what we call an upward sloping channel support line. Sometimes you don't even need to draw. You can see that it is obviously like higher lows, right, right over here. So low, 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 low. As we progress over the past one over a year, we have been forming higher lows while still being kept at this 180, you know, 185 firm resistance level. So that is what we call an ascending triangle pattern that is still forming, right? How do we know if the pattern has completed, right? And you know, we, we finally break that resistance well, right? What happens is that we might still be just consolidating, all right, right here. So you can see right here, we neared it, we came back down, we might be running back up. So we might just consolidate here and finally, all right, we might just break this very firm resistance, you know, 180, 190. And if that really happens, that is where this ascending triangle pattern has completely played out, right? Then we can really start to position ourselves to ride the next higher phase in terms of the uptrend actually continuing, all right? After more than a year of this, like, you know, being below this 180, 185 resistance, finally we are out of it. We are moving to a higher phase, right? So that is when the ascending triangle pattern has played out. If we do break this very, very firm resistance right here. So that is the price resistance level which you can draw for 
any chart right especially if that level coincides with many price point that might you know it touches many many times it comes back down that is a very firm resistance level so the key here is to spot what we call higher lows right higher lows we can draw an upward stopping channel support line and it consolidates consolidate you can see as it consolidates eventually you will get tighter and tighter all right and this this line right here will eventually go up and it will kind of like you know go really near to that resistance level so you could you know, still cons you know you could still con consolidate sideways i mean it might not break here you might just uh, continue to consolidate and it gets very tight and boom finally that is where the breakout can actually happen of course nobody knows exactly when you break out it could be like next month two months time five months time nobody knows but when you see that breakout right that is key because based on this ascending triangle pattern it has already completed and that's where a really strong move to the upwards direction can start to play out and you want to be prepared to ride the upside all right, so this is what we call an ascending triangle pattern. This is a case study, all right, or what potentially all right, can happen, all right, uh, based on this pattern that we are seeing right now. It's not really completed yet, but this is some sort of what we are looking for. All right, so let's take a look at another case study of another pattern that has kind of like played out and see what has you know, transpired since then. All right, so there is another stock in the Singapore market called Capital Corp, whereby we have been covering over the past few months. So I think there are some signs of what we call an ascending triangle pattern that has already played out it's completed and that's where we saw a really strong move up so let's take a look at what has happened so let's take a look at uh, this stock and go ahead to draw what we call a very major resistance level so i talk about this stock many times i think some of my clients were alerted to it as well and we can draw this very key resistance level right here caught the five dollars so five dollars would be what we call a psychological resistance level what is a psychological level basically these are like full numbers you know five dollars ten dollars one dollar two dollar these are like full numbers whereby we tend to give a little bit more weightage or more meaning to it i mean compared to like you know 5.32 or some you know number in the middle of nowhere which we tend to give a little bit more weight to a full number like five dollars or ten dollars so you can see five dollars was this really key resistance level we kind of like touched um last year right came back down we came back down we came back down a very firm resistance level whereby sellers were just there to defend that level and just push prices down all right and that is what happened but as it pushes down you can see that we also traded lower and buyers came back and you know, pushed prices back up again right so we can draw what we call an upward sloping channel support line right over here look at this right here so let me just go to, to draw it for you you can see that we have been forming what we call higher lows right higher lows so you can see this is like the low all right the low the low the low and you know, over the past like one over a year as we headed back to that key five dollars or maybe near that five dollars resistance level you know yeah we sort of but as it pushes back down the lows became higher all right buyers were coming out and prepared to buy at higher prices and that's where it rebounded and finally look at these guys right when we finally broke so this was a really strong move in fact a little bit too strong all right so we broke this five dollars so i was kind of like you know expecting it to to maybe i mean i mean we could like consolidate a little bit more that means we could kind of like you know just move up and down up and down up and down eventually boom you know, right just break the resistance and that's where the move could, could start right in terms of the upwards direction but you know it happened really fast all right and you know we just broke this very firm five dollars resistance right here very very strong bullish candle of course we saw a bit of profit again came back down and the move started to happen so this is what we call an ascending triangle pattern breakout that means you know finally that five dollars psychological resistance level has given way sellers just couldn't hold it anymore all right we just blast through it all right we went to like 520 530 and of course we stayed above that five dollars new support level and the uptrend actually continued and started to push from like five dollars all the way to like six dollars and 41 cents now all right so that's how powerful this ascending triangle pattern is right if you do see the completion of this pattern with it breaking that key resistance strong higher lows all right that is where it gets completed that's where you can start to think about positioning yourselves to ride the next phase up right and that could be really powerful look, look at this i mean in terms of the upside gains it could be all the way more than 27 percent in about like two or three months a really, really powerful move based on this ascending triangle pattern all right guys so there we have it we have covered pretty much this uh, secret chart pattern strategy that you know it's kind of like my secret weapon that i try to seek out in most of the charts especially in an uptrend right so i hope you find this video useful and if you found this video useful i would appreciate if you can give me a like a thumbs up hit the subscribe button as well so that you will not 
miss out on any videos like this and that will really help out the channel and thank you so much for doing this right so yeah so if you want to get like some of those ideas that we shared with our clients in philip securities by whatsapp daily make sure you come on board as a client of mine i'll probably put the link around this video below it all right click on the link to find out more how you can come on board as a client to get some of our ideas in the singapore market much faster by whatsapp and we do cover stocks like this whether it shows an ascending triangle pattern or other patterns or in an up trend or you know based on my strategy as well in terms of one good trend strategy that i have uh, we do share stocks like this so make sure you come on board that's where you can get some of our ideas much faster and especially if you are not getting any service from your broker i mean like where you are trading currently is like a online platform or uh, you know you don't get any service from a broker you definitely want to come on board to get some of those ideas and you know private trainings from me personally all right so joby here thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video take care